Hey, what's going on guys? It's Push to Insanity, and what you guys are watching today is a highly requested template. This is a Black Ops 3 themed intro template. So in the download file, you guys are provided with the shockwaves and all the effects that you guys will need for this template. Once you guys have installed the font, go ahead and open up the Cinema 4D Party intro. Edit your text, select the mole text, and edit your top and bottom text. If your text is large like mine, you guys can also reduce the height. Once you guys have completed editing your text, you guys are ready to render your Cinema 40 part of your intro. So go to your render settings and save your intro to a folder and you guys will be rendering out your intro as a PNG sequence. So once you guys have saved your intro to a folder, you guys could go ahead and render out your Cinema 40 part of your intro. <laughs> Once you guys have finished rendering your Cinema 4D party intro, go ahead and open up the After Effects file. In the After Effects party intro, you guys are missing three files. The shockwaves, the black bars, and the intro template render itself. So start by replacing the shockwave. Right click the missing file and replace the footage with what you guys have provided with in the download. Once you guys have replaced the shockwave, do the same thing with the 2K prop bars. So right click this and replace the footage with what you guys are provided with in the download, which is the black bars. Once you guys have replaced both those files, the only thing you guys will need to do now is replace the intro template render itself. Replace this file with what you guys rendered in Cinema 4D. I didn't actually render out the intro template, I'm just demonstrating how you guys are supposed to do it. So when you guys render it out, you guys are going to do it as a PNG sequence. Therefore, it's going to render 280 frames of your intro as PNG files. All you guys will need to do is open up the first PNG file, which is the PNG file four zeros, and make sure that PNG sequence is selected. And once you guys open this up, this should replace your missing intro template if you edited text that you guys rendered in Cinema 4D. And once you guys have that, you guys are pretty much ready to render your intro. So go to composition, add your composition to your menu queue, and you guys can render your intro. If you guys like this video and you guys want to see more game themed intro templates like this, please let me know in the comment section below and give the video a like to show your support. And I'll see you guys next video.